Welcome back to the Femre Doberman Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FemreCanineLeaders.com. And this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could ever want to know about the incredible Doberman, then how to become a high level canine leader that can raise perfect Doberman companions. So if you love the Doberman as much as we do here at Femre, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a future Doberman video. And today we're going to look at the differences between two extremely athletic and capable working breeds, the Doberman and the Belgian Malinois. And let's jump straight into the video and we'll start off with the history of these fascinating dogs because we can't know where we're going with a breed until we know where they've come from. Now, a guardian breed by absolute design, the Doberman is named after its creator, the German tax collector Karl Doberman. The taxman needed an effective and obedient protection dog to take along on his rounds. A dog whose high intimidation factor would naturally discourage any attack to Mr. Doberman's person. But none of the breeds available in Germany around the time quite fit the bill of what he wanted. So in 1890, the taxman decided to take matters into his own hands. To get the dog he needed, he crossed Rottweilers, German Pinchers with Great Danes, English Greyhounds, and probably a few other breeds. Now, it pretty much goes without saying that his efforts were an absolute huge success, and Mr. Doberman created a strong, intimidating, and yet deeply loyal personal protector who rapidly gained recognition all over the world. The Malinois, developed in the late 1800s by professional shepherd Adrian Johnson, the breed was tasked with herding flocks of sheep. It was only towards the end of the 19th century that these dogs were given the chance to really prove themselves outside of their original line of work. As the sheep population in Belgium declined, the Malinois participated in dressage trials that tested the dog's intelligence, obedience and agility. Now very quickly, the Malinois's extreme talent and versatility then became obvious and it was the first breed to join the Belgian police force. Now, the rest is history, and today the Malinois has overtaken the Doberman and even the German Shepherd as service dogs uh, for the armed forces, as search and rescue dogs, as high-level sports dogs, and as therapy dogs. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to interrupt and let you know about our boot camp program if you've never heard of it before. It's the program that as a canine behaviorist, I use every single day with all of the clients and all of the bad behavior cases that I work with to high levels of success. It is focused on teaching you how to become a high level canine leader that is able to restructure the relationship with your dog so that they see you as that leader and they know to look up to you for guidance and direction. When we achieve that, we can then finally address those bad behavior problems and get to the point of having the perfect canine companion that you've always dreamed of. So if you want more information about our bootcamp program, the link will be down in the description box below. But until then, let's get back to the video you were just watching. So then let's look at the difference in their looks. And both breeds are large, light-footed and elegant dogs. They have short coats and athletic, well-proportioned bodies. In colour, Dobermans are almost exclusively black or chocolate with clearly distinguished tan, rust or mahogany markings. Their height at the wither ranges from 26 to 28 inches in males and females 24 to 27 inches. Uh, that's about 66 to 72 centimetres for the males and 61 to 68 for females. Their heads are narrow and elongated with no marked stop and long muzzles. Traditionally, the Doberman used to have cropped ears and docked tails, but that practice of cropping and docking is becoming illegal in many countries, like here in the UK. Now, contrary to the Doberman, the shape of the Malinois' heads, tails and entire bodies is typical for the shepherd breeds, and they bear a strong resemblance to working line German shepherds. The ears are erect and tails slightly bushy and of medium length. Belgian Malinois come in uh, the colours tan, mahogany and black tipped fawn. In size, the ideal for an adult male is between 61 to 66 centimetres and females quite a bit smaller at 56 to 61 centimetres, 24 to 26 inches or 22 to 24 inches. So then, intelligence and trainability, and even more than Dobermans, Malinois are ever ready to work, which makes them extremely easy to train. Both dogs thrive when provided the opportunity to perform. Highly intelligent dogs, they love nothing more than flexing their physical and mental muscles, which is why lots and lots of mental stimulation should be provided for both of these breeds. 
One possibility to keep them sharp mentally is working them in the fields of obedience, tracking, guarding or other canine sports. But also regular walks in areas with lots of different smells, sights and sounds are excellent ways to provide both physical and mental stimulation for your Doberman or for your Malinois. And both breeds are exceptionally smart canine athletes who can be trained to extremely high levels of obedience, guarding and tracking to name just a few examples. These dogs are top performers and utterly amazing to train. Whilst neither of them is stubborn, the Doberman is far more sensitive and therefore needs an experienced hand to reach similarly high levels of performance as the Malinois. Now, in their temperament, these breeds are quite similar, active, keen and alert outside and when working. Whilst Dobermans are naturally calm and composed in a home environment, Malinois are not, unless specifically trained to behave very well indoors. They are not the best choice for a house dog simply because of their extremely high energy levels. Dobermans, on the other hand, are so calm and settled indoors, especially after exercise, that they even can make good apartment dogs. Now, just like the Malinois, they are also natural guardians who can and will protect you and your home. Both dogs can get along great with children, but the Malinois has the tendency to be very boisterous in its play and can accidentally injure children very easily. So again, you have to make sure you're providing a ton of exercise and mental stimulation. Therefore, both breeds are perfect for active owners who love to take their dogs on outings. Dobermans in particular are very people-oriented dogs who shouldn't be allowed to live with their families. When it comes to their behaviour towards strangers, though, both Malinois and Dobermans are reserved and aloof towards people they do not know, but should not necessarily be outwardly aggressive towards them. So actually how much exercise is needed and we'll quickly start by looking at the grooming differences and the beautiful double coats of the Belgian Malinois require quite a bit more work on the grooming front than the Doberman short single coats therefore Malinois should be brushed daily to minimize shedding and multiple times a day in shedding season and Dobermans do fine with one or two brushes a week with a soft brush or brush but now back to exercise both breeds need lots and lots and lots of it Without sufficient vigorous daily exercise, these high energy dogs can become destructive, vocal and extremely badly behaved, especially when left to their own devices. Daily runs off leash are a must and these can be further intensified by bringing a throwing toy along for the walk, like a ball or a frisbee or even a Kong. Apart from playing fetch, you can tire your dog out by engaging them with flirt pole or by letting the dog run next to your bicycle. Now both the Doberman and the Malinois love to play with all kinds of biting toys as well as balls, Kong toys, frisbees and flirt poles. Which does bring us to the end of our comparison of these two incredible breeds. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. We've got two new Doberman videos coming to this channel every single week and I cannot wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Femre Doberman Show.